Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my full review for you guys on the iAudi Easy Flex Car Mount 2 for the iPhone 4, as well as a myriad of other devices. Pretty much anything up to 3 inches wide is going to work in here just fine, including the Galaxy S2. Um, however, the Galaxy Note 2 being 3.17 inches wide is not going to work in here, but everything pretty much up to the size of the Galaxy S3 is going to work just fine. You can pick this one up over on iAudi's website for $22.99. Um, I did previously review the one-touch car mount uh, from iAudi, and uh, I thought it was a pretty great car mount. Uh, this one is a little bit different in that you can also mount this to a desk, use it as a desktop stand or or whatever else you might want to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack it open and check it out. As you can see, the bottom of the box is kind of already fallen open here. So we'll just go ahead and take it out of the bottom instead of the top, because you know, we can do that. Cool beans. So here's the mount itself. Included with the mount, you're going to get some instructions on how to use it, set it up, and all that kind of stuff. As you can see here, they have a picture of the Galaxy S3 on it. So there you go, you know it works with the Galaxy S3. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at it. Um, you have basically a hinged design here, and this swivels all the way up to almost 180 degrees. Um, in addition to that, this mount right here, where your actual device goes, spins 360 degrees. So to open it, you simply pull it apart with your fingers like so. And then you're going to place your device in here, and your device is going to push this button. And that's going to snap it back in and hold it into place. So there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, move outside to the car, and I'll show you how this works in the car. Okay, cool beans, guys. We have moved outside to the car, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to mount this onto your car. So what you're simply going to do is remove the plastic sticker here on the back that prevents the sticky stuff from getting unsticky. I have mounted and unmounted this several times. I apologize for the motorcycle going by that was loud. And it remains quite sticky. So you're simply going to go ahead and stick it down onto the dashboard just like so wherever you want to place it. To cinch it down now you it's simply held on there with the sticky stuff right now. See this notched ring here around the bottom you're simply going to go ahead and turn this while you hold it down 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. Which I can it's difficult to do with one hand but you get the idea. And that is going to mount it onto your dashboard just like so. As you can see once it's mounted it is quite solidly mounted, and it's really not going anywhere. Uh, because this part that flips up is mounted on kind of a ball joint, as you can see there, it's kind of a ball joint. It gives you a whole bunch of built-in adjustment here, wherever you may want to move it around like so, or around like so, or down, or up, or whatever you may want to do with it. It's virtually infinitely adjustable. Uh, this ring here is also rotatable all the way around. So that is going to allow you to place it, you know, if you didn't want to put it on the dash, you could put it, you know, on the, on the windshield, right above you or, or wherever you may happen to want to place it. Vehicles are so different nowadays that, you know, it can be difficult to find a good mounting position for whatever you're, you know, mounting. So to stick your phone in, you're simply going to pull this tab out right here, take your phone, place it in there, and as you can see, it kind of snaps right into place there. The rubber tabs here on the side hold it quite securely. I don't feel like my phone's gonna fall anywhere when it's mounted here like this. And then there you go. It's mounted on your dashboard right here. You can simply go ahead and have it sitting there while you're driving, answer your text messages or whatever. No, using Bluetooth, of course, you're not supposed to type while you're driving. That's never a good idea. But, you know, you get the idea. If you have an auxiliary cable going into your stereo system, you can plug the aux cable in and, you know, have it coming out of the dock here into the aux cable there, a nice short cable, and uh, play your music through there. Whatever you want to do, you could launch your iPod app and be playing your music through there. Whatever you want to do, pretty much. So there you go. There it is, mounted in a car. Cool beans. So there you go. That's pretty much how it works in the car. Now, if you wanted to use it on a desk or something, you certainly could do that. You simply take, you know, the sticky stuff off here, like I showed you outside. And you can mount this to pretty much any smooth surface, be it a desk or wherever you might want to uh, mount it. You could even possibly mount it to the side of your desk. If you had a hutch on your desk, you could mount it to the side or something like that. 
turn this 180 degrees like so, and then kind of have it mounted to the side of your hutch or something if you wanted. You kind of suspend it above your monitor or something if you wanted. There's really an infinite number of things you can do with this mount. It is pretty darn awesome. Uh, given the fact that this rotates as well as this rotates, it really is infinitely adjustable to set it up and, and place it pretty much anywhere you want to, which is pretty darn awesome. I've been using it, uh, you know, mostly, you know, in the car, in Trista's car, as well as, you know, beside my computer and stuff. And it works really well pretty much anywhere uh, I place it. I don't find it, you know, going to fall out or anything from, you know, bumps or anything like that in the car. Uh, these rubber bumpers on here on the inside are just grippy enough to hold on to it without making sure that it's going to fall out. So there you go. Pretty cool. That is pretty much going to do it for my review on the IOTI Easy Flex Car Mount 2 for the iPhone 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and the Galaxy S3. And I know there's not a 6 and 7 iPhone. Somebody's going to troll the comments and be like, Tom, there's no 6 and 7 iPhone. I know that. I was just exaggerating slightly. Cool beans. So there you go. That's pretty much going to do it. Again, it'll work with any device up to three inches wide. So take a look at your device, pull out a ruler. If it's less than three inches wide, this bad boy is going to work. There you go. Cool beans. Thanks to the very cool people over at IOTI for sending this over to me for review. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check the link out in the bottom bar down there if you're interested in this. Maybe go ahead and smash the like button. That definitely helps me out a lot. Maybe go ahead and favorite the video as well. And we'll see you guys in the next review. Cool beans. Rock on.